Hello everyone, welcome to Pixar Trick. And in this tutorial of Snapseed, we are going to have complete mastery over the curved stool. From the very childhood, we love to slide, is not it? That is why most of us enhance our photos in Snapseed only with the help of the sliders available under different tools. And in that case, we need to go through multiple of tools before we can turn a normal photo into an Instagram banger. But what if I tell you that I have turned this photograph into this with the help of only curved stool? Let's find out. We have a beautiful landscape of sunset over here and now we will just go to curved stool. We have opened the curved stool and we can see that there is this line with two points intersecting the square from left bottom to top right. If we touch anywhere over the line, we can see that the square has divided into 16 small squares with horizontal and vertical grids intersecting each other at different points. And the line we have here is touching three of them. That means we can have control over different values presented in the image by adding a point and moving it over the particular area. Now let's find out which area has control over what. Now if we touch the lowest point over here, we can see that the darkest area of our photo is turning grey. So that means this is the point for the black. Now black is the darkest area of our photograph where no detail is available. Now before we move to the next point, we will add the remaining two points over the intersections of these lines. Now we will move to the second point from the bottom and we can see that this point is for the shadows or the darker areas where some details are available. The next point we have here, we can see that it is for the mid-tones or the areas which are evenly exposed, that means not too much or not too less. Moving towards the next point and we can see that this is for the highlights of our photograph. That means the brighter areas where some details are available. And the last or the topmost point over here controls the whites or the brightest areas of a photograph. Now if we want to see how many of the curves we have got, we can open it from here. And now we can see that we are in the RGB curve. We are going to add some tweaks over here and over there. And now we are going to touch this button over here and we can see that we have also got red, green, blue and the luminance curve. Next we will choose the red curve and if we touch anywhere over the red line and if we take it upwards we can see that it is adding color red into the frame and if we take it downwards we can see that it is decreasing the red and at the same time it is also boosting the color aqua which is the opposite of red according to the color wheel. We will add some red into the highlights and the mid tones and we will leave the shadows as it was. Next we will move towards the green. Here if we take the green line upwards we can see that it is boosting the color green but if we take it downwards we can see that the green is decreased and at the same time color magenta is boosted all over the frame. We will add some magenta over the highlights and we will save the stones from getting colored with magenta. The next curve we got here is the blue. If we take the blue curve upwards, it is boosting the color blue all over the frame and if we take it downwards, we can see that it is boosting the color yellow, the opposite of blue. We will add some blue to the shadows and we will take it down for the highlights. The next curve we got here is the luminance curve. Now the luminance curve is for increasing or decreasing exposure of the overall photograph or we can increase or decrease it over some specific parts too. Now that we are done, we will turn off the preview for the curves by tapping the eye. This is the photograph with which we have started and this is it right now. Now just before signing out, here are some tricks I have found while experimenting with the curves. If you take the luminance curve upwards, it will only increase the exposure and if you take it downwards, it will only decrease it. 
but if you go to rgb cups and you take it upwards you can see that it is decreasing the saturation for the overall photograph and if you take it downwards it will boost the saturation for the whole photograph to delete a manually added point you just need to quickly take it to the top or to the bottom the last trick is if you take the point for the dark to the top most it will turn the image white and just like that if we select the point for the white and take it to the utmost bottom it will turn the image black and at the same time we can turn the image into a negative by placing the points to the opposite corners so that was all for this one like comment share and subscribe if this method was helpful